everyone, it's Joanne, and I'm back today to show you my second ever fortune cookie soap unboxing. So I'm going to get right to it. I brought my little box cutter, and these are the tiniest little boxes, but it's such a nice treat to get a package in the mail. I was absolutely delighted when I saw our mailwoman come up to the door, which means that she has a package instead of just mail for the box. So. Okay, this is what the inside looks like. Their usual card, and it looks like a coupon. Uh, da, 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 da. This, yep, yeah, this is a coupon with a little code on it. And ooh, I already smell it. it smells good. Okay, <laughs> welcome to Spring Soapbox. Oh, it's a nice little card, and on the back is the description of all the products inside. So I'm just gonna dig in without figuring out what what goes with what first. So you're going to see this as I'm trying to fumble through it live. <laughs> okay, the first thing is wildflowers. Sounds like seeds. I think it's actually, is it wildflowers or something to add to your bath? Let's see. I don't see this on the card. Okay, North American native flowers. I guess this is just an add-in. It actually is flowers, not something to add to the bag, so, aww. I hope all I have to do is like toss these on the soil and then God will do the rest because I'm not good with plants. I think I told you guys that. Here's a little tea light. It's um, beautiful green, kind of a chartreuse green. Let's see. Down to earth tea light candle, one small step for home fragrance, one giant leap for FCS. I'm sorry, but I should have got my glasses. Um, a soft, earthy blend of lavender and basil on our very first candle. Not bad. I like this. Mmm, smells good, and it's not too soft. I like it. That's all I can tell you so far. I'll let you know how it burns. Okay, I have loved these. The, the last thing I got, which was the whipped cream in my last fortune cookie soap, video which I'll link somewhere on here. Um, I absolutely love the formula so um, it was a Grinch themed box around Christmas time and this one is um, Honey Do Me for the scent so I hope it's the same formula. I love it. Mmm! Oh wow! It does smell like honeydew and I like it. Not too sweet, not too perfumey, almost edible. Very nice and actually I think my last one is just about gone, so I'm probably going to do an empties video pretty soon, and that will be part of that. Well, I just gave it away, didn't I? Okay, next thing is OCD, which is the, um, <laughs> sorry, I just read what it says. Um, <laughs> it got totally distracted. <laughs> okay, you know, it's the hand sanitizer. This one is blue, pretty, pretty blue, kind of like, oh, look, it matches. <laughs> I wore the perfect color today. It's called Dirty Ho. Yeah, that's why I was laughing. Dirty H-O-E, Ho. Yeah, all these are spring themed, so. <laughs> that one caught me, off, caught me off guard. I don't know what it smells like. Dirty Ho OCD hand sanitizer. What happens in the garden stays in the garden, especially when a dirty ho is involved. Get as dirty as you want, don't worry. We've got your back. Smells like freshly dug earth and dewy grass after a spring rain. You smell it again. Oh, it does kind of smell like after a spring rain. I can't smell the dirt, but oh, that was too funny. Oh, and I didn't read the um, honey do me description. Let me go back to this whipped cream. The fragrance will leave you screaming for more. Melons, that is. We just can't get enough of this yummy blend of sweet honeydew, cantaloupe, watermelon, apple, and vanilla bean. Yeah, love that. Okay, next item. Spray lotion. I wet my plants. <laughs> oh, these are so cute. I love play on words and, you know, I love words anyway. Uh, this is just too cute. I wet my plants. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, um, go ahead and read it again. We'll wait. <laughs> See? <laughs> I did read it again. That's too funny. <laughs> okay, the L makes all the difference, doesn't it? Give yourself a little spritz of our new spray lotion scented with melon, jasmine, and baby powder and say, ah, uh, too far. 
Question mark. We shall find out. Hmm. It does. It smells like baby powder. That's all I smell. Did I say? Oh, baby powder. Yeah. I don't smell the jasmine. Maybe when I actually spray it and use it, I'll smell the other things. <laughs> I've wet my plants. Ah! Okay. Let me recover from that one. That was too funny. <laughs> okay. This one is Shimmer Stick, a nod to the hippies. Okay. All right, patchouli lovers, we hear you. Our new shimmer stick is perfect for adding a subtle shimmer to any area you'd like to highlight. Patchouli, amber, oh, that's my favorite scent, y'all, and vanilla combine to leave skin lightly scented and a little nostalgic. All you need is peace and love and FCS. Okay, wait, it's, it's sealed. Hold on. Oh, there we go. I broke the seal. Okay, it's subtle enough. I'm not a fan of patchouli um, essential oil, but this is very um, sort of musky and soft. Not a strong, strong scent. It sound, it's, it almost smells very diffused. Oh, I actually like it. I really, I'm, I'm not a fan of patchouli at all. But, um, and you can see it right here on my hand. It looks like it's a little bit wet, but it's not really wet. Let's put some on here. Oh, I like it. Very nice. Their scents are, their scents are, what should I say? They're done well. They're not, if it is a strong scent, it's diffused down so that it's tolerable. You know what I mean? Okay. Bath salts, kiss my vine. <laughs> That's cute. And it's pink, baby girl pink with um, some little, looks like darker little, maybe blue in it. Almost like a, it's peppered with some blue. I don't know if you can see it. So let's see what the kiss my vine bath salt says. Um, kiss my vine sounded better than kiss my ass. Sure, it has nothing to do with the fragrance or product, but we thought it was funny. Oh, and it smells like strawberries and champagne, by the way. Ah, let's see. And watch me spill it everywhere. I'm just like that, you know. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I've got so much of this on. It's kind of hard to tell. Hmm. I'm not sure. I can't say because I smell like patchouli. Um, but I'll put it in the bath and let you know. Okay, this looks like um, a fizzy, if I do say so myself, uh, and it's, I don't want to break it, and it's shaped like half of an egg. Oh my gosh, y'all, I wore the perfect color for this video today, just so you know. <laughs> Didn't I? Look at that. Ooh, that smells good. It smells like candy. Ooh, I want to eat it. Okay, let's see what this is. Uh... Let's see. I already did that. It's not that one. Uh, must be the birds and the bees bath fizzy. Don't worry, we're not going to give you the talk, but we will give you a sweet, fruity robin's egg fizzy with skin-loving honey powder for extra healing and softening. Yep. I like that. Oh, it smells good. It's sugary, like cotton candy sweet, but not in a bad way. Yeah, I like that. Okay, last little packet in the box, and it's shaped like a fortune cookie. Oh, here you go. It's glitter and green. It's like frosted with sugar. I'm not sure. Let me see. Ooh, smells. Let's see what it says. I'm getting the green um, powder all over my hands. Okay, late bloomer fortune cookie soap. Don't expect this exfoliating FCS to scrub away the memories of those awkward teenage moments, but you can expect softer, smoother skin, scented with Polynesian hibiscus, ripe berries, white amber, and vanilla. Blooming early is overrated anyway. <laughs> I wouldn't know. <laughs> mm. It's um flowery, not so much sweet. I do smell... Gosh, not the berries, probably the hibiscus. That's what I'm smelling. Mmm, 
I don't smell the vanilla either. But um, yeah, I've, I pretty much am down to just a little few pieces of my last fortune cookie soap. So that does it for my unboxing. <laughs> it smells like a party in here of flavors, <laughs> not just scents. I want to, I want it. Oh, wait, what was it I wanted to eat? Something smelled good enough to eat. Oh, I think it was the Robin's egg. Yeah, smells good. And I wore the perfect color. Who knew? Okay, you guys, um, I highly recommend Fortune Cookie Soap. You do have to apply. Um, I think it's $20 a quarter. And I'm thrilled with their products. I think everything in it is all natural. It's bath and body stuff. And I don't get anything for telling you guys about it. And I pay full price. So um, just wanted to share. Hope you guys liked it. And I will catch you next time. Bye.